Do you feel important? <laughs> Uncomfortably important. Huh? Uncomfortably important. <laughs> Two Scoops is meant to be a... Uh, Two Scoops is meant to be essentially me, in a way. Um, I just had people in my life who have come to me and confronted me and talked about my energy in the gym, talked about my personality, um, and I really don't like talking too much about myself. Like, I don't like to assume like I'm all that, or I try to stay as humble as possible, essentially. Um, that I don't like make myself seem like a big shot, because I don't feel like I am. I just think I'm an average guy um, who just has my own, I have my own personality out there, and everybody has their own kind of personality, their own perspective, their own attitudes, and you can impact people with that. Um, and when I was at the gym and I'd be training, just doing my thing, I would notice some people would come up to me and talk, talk to me and say, hey, I like the energy that you bring to the gym. I like who you are. Whenever I'm at the gym and I see you there, I get into a better mindset, I get into a better headspace. And I always thought that was just very, very cool to see like how my personality was able to impact people in a positive way, uh, in a meaningful way. And this concept of two scoops, the original origin of it was built at work. Me and a couple guys in the kitchen were joking around one day, talking about, uh, and, and my gym, the gym was always two minutes away from my work. So every day after work, I would always go to the gym. And one day heading out of the workplace, um, heading towards the gym, I was shaking up some pre-workout, I was walking out and boys were like, hey buddy, like, you know, what? What you got in there, man? What you got in that, that pre-workout? Uh, or what you got in your shaker bottle? And I said, hey man, I got two scoops in here. And everyone was just going nuts, going like, oh, he's got two scoops, you got two scoops. Like, we're just being idiots behind my mouth, like kitchen guys are. And then I went to the gym and, and I just started kind of, I said it a few times during my workout when me and my girlfriend were working out. And then she just kind of picked up on it. She started, oh, I remember I was doing a set and it was hard to push through it. And I, I just kind of wanted to give up. And she just said, come on, how many scoops? And I was like, oh, snap, like, two scoops. Yeah, 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 two scoops, let's go. So grunted it out and got the rep in. And I don't know, it just kind of took off from there. Um, and she was the one that was really feeding it, really giving it the, the energy and keeping it around. I didn't think it was really much of anything, but she kept on always from that point on, like shouting out how many scoops in the gym. And she would go, come on, two scoops, let's go. And it just kind of like came a bit of an identity for me, I suppose. And this was just like a thing between me and her, maybe a few other people. But then as time went on and I started to notice that I had, not just me, like everybody has a means to impact people. Your personality, who you are, like people can feed off of you, people can listen to you, people can just benefit from you sharing yourself. You know, granted, when you share yourself, you put yourself at risk for being vulnerable and offer criticism, but you also don't know who you can impact by doing that too. And um, I've always just wanted to help people in my life. Um, that's why I'm in chiropractic. I just knew what I wanted to do with my life was to be something of someone that could help people give back. And I saw chiropractic as a way to do that. So it's always been in my mind.